So basically, we're just desensitizing this bowl to all different types of touch all over her body. This is gonna come in handy later in the fool's life when she has to get worms. That's the place where the bit is eventually gonna go. This is gonna get her ready to have her muzzle clipped, to have her throat latch and her ears clipped. It's a different feeling for her, it's a different sensation. It's an object, it moves, it makes a noise. A veterinarian might have to give her fluids or something. So these are all reasons why I do it. So if you can teach your colt not to be frightened of human beings, to be well desensitized, and also to be sensitized to move away from pressure, it's a critical learning period of their life. Take advantage of that first 48 hours, mate, and it'll pay off dividends for you. For the first few days you start messing with your foal, mate, it's very important to do it in a small enclosed area. That way the foal can't get away from you, it's easy to get your hands on him, and it's just more of a controlled situation. Just like on our adult horses, the first body part we want to gain control of on a horse on the ground is their hindquarters. That's where all the power comes from. But on a baby foal, we're going to do the same thing, but except we're going to use steady pressure, getting him to yield from touch and rub. Getting that hindquarters under control is essential to get the horse to where he'll soften to you, bend and lead. If the hindquarters is not under control, it's easy for that foal to rear up, flip over backwards or bolt away from you. Touch, press, push, dig, dig, digging those fingernails in, there's a the step. Okay, now even though she took a step and then kind of wandered off sideways, that's alright, she'll figure it out here soon. Touch, press. Push, there's a step. See how she keeps wanting to turn away from me? I'm gonna hold the pressure, hold the pressure. She'll bump into the walls a little bit, she'll be all right. There. Hold that pressure. There, that's a little give. I'm just trying to get her front end there to step towards me. Now what's all that about? See a lick of lips there? Okay, she had a little little connection fit right there and she got a knickers and a knot and wanted to use the reactive side of her brain and I just kind of stayed with her until she moved the butt a little bit, brought her front end over and then relaxed. Push. There's a little step. Why am I working on this hindquarters? Because this is the gas pedal. She can't rear, buck, run away, or kick if I can get this hindquarters to disengage. Touch. There's a little step. Now, in a, in a perfect world, she would actually step across and, you know, but you can't be that picky in the very, very beginning, especially when they're this age. Getting your folder back up, mate, is the foundation of a stop and collection. So let's start it at an early age. Teach your baby foal to back away from the string around his neck. That way when you put the halter on and ask him to back up, he'll already have a pretty good idea how to do it. Remember, teach your foals and baby steps so it's easy for them to understand.